Let's dive to the bottom of the sea with Lalaloo. A family of narwhal mermaids lives here. Let's invite mom, Aurora, into a beauty salon. First, let's work on her hair. Don't worry, you won't be hairless for long. Undo the threads on satin ribbons. What beautiful colors! Now the mermaid has gorgeous hair thanks to our hair extensions. <laughs> a couple of shells and turquoise acrylic paint go really well with glitter. Now Aurora has a stylish top. And gold sequins look like magical scales. Oh, wow. Ariel sent you some fabric. Thanks, it's perfect for my tail. Make a tail. Turn it right side out and try it on. Aurora decided to choose the color of her fin herself. I want a blue one. Good choice. Cut the right piece out of clear plastic. Add some texture with a sharp edge. A strong fin will let her swim even against the current. Aurora is a narwhal mermaid. That means she has a horn. It's pearly, just like a seashell, and covered with crystals. The mermaid has ocean-themed makeup, too. Even her manicure is this color. Her outfit really brings out her eyes. The narwhal mermaid carefully picked her look. She planned every detail. Let us introduce you to her daughter. Baby Gloria is also a sea unicorn. She spends all her time with her mom. There are so many interesting things under the sea. We can play tag. When mom teaches me to swim, I will. <laughs> it's so fun to play fight with your horns and look for crystals together. Gloria found a big one. This is her lucky day. Look through it, honey. Hi. Wow, the world looks blue. Let's study shells and corals. And we'll swim together too. Take light clay. Everyone will make room for this bright seahorse. Let's work on the head. He has cute eyes, fins, and mane. A choker made out of a ribbon with a bell is on his neck. Decorate the seahorse with rhinestones, bright spots, and glitter. We need him to sparkle. Oh, there are so many of them here. A whole herd of seahorses. They all gathered to help drive the carriage. Let's make a sled out of a broken boat and coffee stirrers. Make some attachments. Put the stirrers in water so it's easier to bend them. Give them the right shape. Paint it red. Apply glitter. And a fleece blanket will keep the baby warm. Decorate the sides with a sequin ribbon and 3D stickers. Seahorses are ready to pull the sled even to the edge of the sea. The baby will meet them too. There are beautiful views of the sea bottom almost anywhere. There is a lot to look at. Flounder brought a sled driven by seahorses to invite his friend for a ride. <laughs> Aurora, let Gloria come with us. Only if it's safe. The baby met seahorses for the first time. Looks like they became friends. Now the mom doesn't have to worry. We just need to help the daughter climb up. Have fun. Remove a door from a LOL capsule. Cut the attachments and cover the sides with glittery foam paper. Decorate the sides with rows of crystals and sequins. Twist a wire frame. It's like the crib is hanging on invisible threads with pearls. It looks like it's floating. A blanket and a pillow made out of pom-poms. The baby will only have sweet dreams here. Aurora and Gloria have guests a lot. They have a comfy house. This time, the little narwhal is waiting in the crib for so long that she fell asleep in her bed. Wake up, we're back. But Gloria is too tired. She needs to sleep. Oh, it means we'll play a different time. Narwhal asked to sing a lullaby to the baby. So they sang the baby to sleep. Use mirrored cardboard and pictures of sea animals to make a cool table full of treats. Paint the skewer the color of a wave. Pull it through the center. Draw a horn with a hot glue gun. Dip it in glitter. 
we need a steady base. Take a big bead. This shell agreed to give it to us. Surround it with pearly fins. One, two, three. Three layers of treats. Cakes, biscuits, and desserts for every taste. Mom decided to bring her daughter to an amusement park. There are so many places with tasty food here. We need to try them all. Mm. You have so many tasty things here. What can you recommend? Try our sweet platter. Sounds interesting. We'll take a table. And soon they filled a big three-layer table for the guests. Wow. What a treat! Baby, let's try everything here. Oh, it's a sweet party. <laughs> it's difficult not to get yourself dirty. <laughs> Glue a sticker with a cute narwhal to glittery foam paper and cut a circle out. Attach a fluffy arch. There are stars and small bells on it. Gloria loves all the new sounds. Looks like the girl can become a musician in the future. Rhythm, Mom, rhythm! It's like the baby is in front of a DJ table. How can a shell and mermaid's tail not become friends? What if we add a magic glass from an old pirate chest? The result is going to be awesome, but it's different every time. Wow, this looks like a baby monitor. Use a couple of shells and a jump ring to make a screen. Decorate it with a sticker. We just need to test it out. Technology works in the underwater world too, but seawater can have a negative impact on the circuits. And now the mermaids can keep an eye on their kids with this device. <sighs> Put the camera in the nursery, and mom always has a screen. Look at my baby sleeping. She's so precious. This pirate chest doesn't store any treasures now. Let's put some toys in it. Paint it blue. Glittery walls will provide some contrast. Rhinestones, pebbles, crystals. It holds so many things. And now let's paint the outside. You can put anything in the chest. It's so huge. Gloria is in the mood to play. But her mom is not in the mood when toys are everywhere. Gloria, how about picking up your toys? Let's do it together. And the mom read her a chapter of a fairy tale book as a reward. All the baby's friends were listening too. Put hot glue on a greased surface. Draw corals. Tall ones will need a wire frame. After being in the water for so long, corals become pearly and covered with salt crystals. They grow right on the shells. And there are so many shells on the coral itself. Add rhinestones and some glitter. An old star toy will become a seat. Hang it on sequined ribbons. The star carefully holds the baby, so she's ready to play all day. Yippee! But she needs to share with her friends. Lappy the narwhal, Yuki the octopus, and Flounder the fish want to play too. Then the friends take turns pushing each other on a swing, and everyone's happy. Cover a small ball with saran wrap. Add a design like this with hot glue. Cover the top with glitter and acrylic paint. Do you recognize it? It's a jellyfish. She's famous for her long, thin tentacles. You can never outrun her. Everyone loves fun games in the underwater world. The narwhal family is no exception. Mom Mermaid and her baby are catching jellyfish together. Catch it. <laughs> jellyfish also love playing tag. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to Lalaloo and press the bell Yippee! so you can see our doll ideas first. <laughs>